These are a few finished drawings that we just made for one of our cartoons. It takes thousands of drawings like these to complete one short cartoon film. First, we transfer these pencil drawings to a cell. This is a cell. Here's Donna, the head of our inking department at work. She places a cell over the drawing and carefully copies the drawing onto the cell with pen and ink. At the same time, other inkers are working on different scenes. All the inkers are artists. Notice the black stick in the inker's hand. It's called an ebony stick, and it's used to hold the cell steady so it can be worked on more easily. Have you noticed those air-conditioned gloves the girls are wearing? Well, they wear them to keep their hands from marking the cells. Once in a while, one of the girls may make a mistake. Then she uses a felt stick to erase. The felt stick will take away any line without scratching the smooth surface of the cell. After the cell is inked, it's put with other cells, all ready for the painters to add the finishing colors. Here's what Woody looks like before we give him his fine coat of feathers. These ink lines are on one side of the cell, and he is painted in color on the reverse side of the cell before his photograph. I'll tell you why that's done when we visit the painting department on another show. I wonder if you recognize this fuzzy looking picture. Take a good look at it. This is the way many of our people here at Walter Land Studios see Woody and his friends every day. If I turn it over, I'm sure you'll recognize our wacky hero in person. This is a painted cell, which is a drawing in color on a clear piece of celluloid. Before we make these drawings, the cells are like little windows. You can see right through them. That's why we use them. Here we have a background. It's the stage setting for our action. Then this painted cell fits right over the top of it. 